guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to be trying this DIY with you guys. Um, this is going to be really easy, I hope, but we have um, all the supplies today to do a DIY bleach dye sweatsuit outfit. That, there's been a lot of people that have been posting about the DIYs. Here's the supplies that you're going to need to move forward, and this is what I have, and this is what everyone who says, you know, to do this they need, is some gloves, because we will be using bleach. So bleach, which you can get at the Dollar Tree. Gloves, you can also get at the Dollar Tree. Rubber bands, just like a handful of rubber bands. And then, this is the really great part. I got a sweatsuit, this was the men's department of Walmart. So I got this sweatsuit for, I think it was like $14 for both. It may be even less than that because I think it said it was on clearance or sale. So if we get this done and we like the product, the finished product, this sweatsuit will only cost us $14, where the other sweatsuit that I was looking at was $65. So let's go ahead and get started and see how this turns out. Okay, this is what it looks like before. Just the basic for the loom sweatsuit. I got a men's extra large for the sweatshirt because I want to, I'm gonna cut it a little bit and I'll show you guys what I do, but I think I wanna cut the neckline in this baseline down here to make it kind of looser. You can see right now it's just boxy men's sweatsuit. And then I got a medium size in the pants because I just wanted those to be the basic, you know, fit. I also want to add, if you are wearing nice clothes like I was, I was wearing some of my favorite leggings, didn't think about that, but that will ruin your clothes. So be careful, might want to change your outfit if you're doing this into something that you really don't care about or that you're not intending to tie-dye. Did I say I was bleach dyeing? I meant to say they were out of brown sweatsuits, so I wanted to bleach my black brown. No, I'm just kidding. I did this wrong, so come here, take a look at this. My sweatsuit that was black is now practically all over brown, so this had been an epic fail. But we're not gonna give up yet. As you can see, here's my black sweatsuit that is now brown. The sweatshirt turned completely brown other than a few spots like you can see right there because when I submerged it, the bleachy water just went into all the crevices of the heavy material, leaving nothing for the tie-dye effect. So that's why the squirt bottle method was so much better and you need a lot more bleach than water to make a big enough effect that, you know, like the look I'm going for. So when I used the spray bottle, it looked a lot better and way easier to um, control where the bleach was going on such a thick material. 
Okay, so here now I'm cutting, like I said, this is a men's sweatshirt, so it was very boxy on me. And even after I did this, I wasn't super happy with it, but I cut up the side so it wasn't like hugging my hips and um, I made it more of a loose fit. I cut off the front um, band right there to do like it's shorter in the front and longer in the back, um, a little bit more, you know, like a feminine look to it. And then when I cut around the collar, it was more of a loose fit. And so it, it would just, I don't know, it was something that I would prefer to wear. It wasn't so boxy and manly looking, but still not my favorite choice. I probably would have gone with a lighter material um, if I were to redo it. This was just so thick, um, the fleece. And so I think that was the biggest problem. Okay, so now I'm in my outfit and I look like a monk. This is the process of making something look good. So here we are, I've cut this to pieces, um, cut the neckline, I like that, but there's gonna have to be more to this to make this work. <laughs> okay, the sweatshirt's finally taking somewhat of an okay shape, but that does not mean that I like this at this point. So I've cut it, I'm gonna try to dye it again and let's see if the look actually will like dye. Instead of just doing a complete color, I'm wearing a brown sweatsuit now. So I'm gonna do a different technique and see if this will actually work. Now that I'm re-dyeing the sweatshirt, I am tying it up similar to how I did it at the beginning, but this time I'm doing it way tighter. I did not do my rubber bands tight enough, and so that's a big reason, along with me submerging this into the bleach water, that it just did not take the tie-dye into all the wrinkles of the fabric and you didn't see any of that cool effect like you're looking for when you see like a bleach dye or a tie-dye sweatshirt. So I'm twisting everything back up again, but this time I'm using like two times rubber bands and I'm wrapping it as tight as it can go. So I'm still getting all those wrinkles. When I use the spray bottle, I spray directly onto where I put the rubber band ties at. So if I tw did a twist, that's where I really sprayed the bleach water. Okay, I am done with this experiment, and I must say it was way harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, there's lots of noises going on, okay? <laughs> okay guys, I am done with this DIY experiment. The bleach dye sweatsuit did not turn out as cute as I had hoped it would, but um, maybe that's why people pay $65. <laughs> I paid $14. It was fun, um, but I will say there was definitely some learning things that I had to endure to make it to this point, and I'll share them with you right now. Number one being tie your rubber bands extremely tight and do not submerge the entire sweatsuit into the bleach water. Um, combination because this material is super absorbent and so the first go round it just sucked all the bleach up even and got into like the deep like like uh, folds of the fabric so it pretty much bleached my entire sweatsuit like you saw at the beginning like this brown rusty color so I was going for the black and brown look and so by the time I had to do the second round of bleaching it turned it gray so now I have like the gray and brown look which not in love with. So that was a big thing. If I would have done that right the first time, we wouldn't have had that issue um, with the color. Second thing is do not submerge like I said, but instead of submerging, use a spray bottle. Once I used a spray bottle, I was really um, able to um, really focus in on the areas that I wanted the bleach to be on. So if I were to redo this all over again, and I may do a video and try this one more time with the things that I now know. If you are doing something with a thicker material, like a sweatsuit like I am, I highly recommend using the spray bottle. It is a much better solution than just submerging the fabric into the water. It was a good learning experience. I'll try again for the look that I'm really going for, but I did cut this sweatshirt like I saw in the video to make it a little bit more flattering. I don't know if that really worked, um, but so I will show you the final product now. Okay. 
So that's it for today. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm so close to 200. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell. Like this video and we will see you next time. You guys have a great day.